the ideal is you can have a mirror between the two of you and you can't tell almost whether it's the other guy or you, you know, that's what you're looking for. An Olympic final, you're looking for a totally seamless, smooth unit. I mean, that's perfection and we never got there. One of the things that people always ask is what kept you going? What motivated you? It's a very, very difficult question to answer, but the first answer, part of the answer, is winning's addictive. When you're the best in the world, when you're successful, that feeling is addictive. And the second is, and I always was motivated by the team, the people around me, feeding off them and interacting with them. I could never have ever have done it in a single skull. And I guess the third part is we also knew that there were people all around the world at that very moment training to beat us. I know it because I've spoken to them. And it was kind of pictures up on fridges and shaving mirrors and, you know, in their car kind of next to the speedo so that they would look at pictures of us, literally, and say, they're world champions or they're Olympic champions, we're going to go and beat them. You guys are pretty much at the top of your field. You know, you have to have that same sense of your opposition looking at you and deciding, right, what do they do? How can we copy them? How can we catch them up? And if you don't get a sense of you're never going to beat us, a kind of getting the hair standing up on your neck and you're not going to catch us up, then you should go do something else for a living.